Good morning, preps. We are practicing to build words today. So we've been learning about so many sounds. And now that we know all those sounds, now we get to actually practice reading and writing and learning about those sounds in words. So what you've got now is these two pages in your special pack. And these are your starting sounds in red. And here are your word families that will go at the ends of the word. So what I'm going to do is quickly cut them out for you. So then we can start practice, starting start to practice making the sounds. This is Mac is losing the ability to talk very quickly. There's a lot more word families in this week, isn't there, Mrs. Mac? There is because as we learn so many more new letters, then we get so many more options for word families. So they've got their whole page. And this will really help with reading words in books, won't it, Mrs. Mac? It absolutely will because when you've learned a word family, you don't have to keep working it out. That's the best bit about it. Yes, yeah, not like Mrs. Ballard who last week kept working them out even when she knew them. <laughs> so here's one. App. App. So now when I see that, any time, instead of saying app, I can just say app. Here's another one. Ah. Can you work that one out? This is a little bit like app, but it's with our new letter that we've just learned about, the letter U. So it's up. And we put that on our anchor chart too. That isn't just a word family, that's actually just a word as well. Alrighty, I'm going to cut these up nice and quick. I'm going to show you a little cheats way to do this. Put them together and snippity snip. And then after we've done that, we can start to practice. So what we'll do is we'll spread them out over here so that we can choose different word families to start with. And you might like to just practice reading those word families before you actually get onto this activity because it's going to be quite challenging to do. And we have so many options now. See, here are some of the new ones. So we've got at, at. So when you're trying to work out the word or the word family, I want you to say the two sounds and then move them more closely together. So we go at, at, at. Can you hear the difference there? I'll try it with another one. We might choose, here's a nice easy one. We've got it, it, it. So you can see that I'm bringing the sounds more closely together and then that becomes it and I don't need to work it out again. Now we will need some sounds to start off our words and they're here. Soon we'll have all of this filled up with lots of different letters to start off with. Oh, I like how you're cutting around the border, Mrs. Mack. I know and I'm probably being not as careful as I'd like you to be but I'm just trying to go super quick. But you've got a little bit more time at home, so you can go nice and slow. Make sure you stick to all the little borders that we've got here for you. Now, the trick here, preps, is to really try and work out a real word from these options. Okay, so I could show you, oh, let's get this one over here. So, et, et, et. All right, now... I could try and put H here, het, het, het. Is that a word? No, that's not a word. So I'm going to pop that back. But now I could try and put the J here. And we know J makes a J sound. I don't need to work this part out. I've already worked this part. It's et. So now I'm going to add J, et. Ooh, it sounds familiar. I need to try and move it a little bit closer together. J, et, J. Et, jet. Is that a word? Yes, it is. So now I can practice writing it into my orange book. Jet. I can take my J away and I'll try another one with that sound because I'm practicing that one. I've got a P here. P, et, pet. Is that a word? Yes, it is. You might have some pets at home. I might swap this now. I'm going to keep my starting sound and try a different word family. Up, 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 pup. Is pup a word? 
Yeah. It's a short word for a puppy, isn't it? Pup. I wonder if I could try another one. Might not be a real word, but it will give us time to practice these sounds and blending them together. T up. T up. Tup. Tup. Is that a word? That's not a word, but we did a really good go of trying to work it out. Let's try one more. Might try another ah uh, one because that's one of our new words, our new word families. Ah, uh, n, ah, uh, n, un. Alrighty, what if I put ah, uh, b in front? Now we've got b, un, bun. Is that a word? Yes. Bun is a word. You might eat a nice yummy bun. What if I move that off and try another starting sound with it? And now I've got a s. I don't need to work this part out. We've already worked it out. It's un. The word family is un. So now I just need to change this sound at the beginning from a b to a s. Sun. Is that a word? Absolutely it is. And now I can write it down here. Now, perhaps there's so many different starting sounds here and there's so many different word families. This is an excellent activity to do and you could do it again and again and again. Make sure you keep your word families in a special bag so that you can pull them out. And when you get some time the next day, you can bring them back out and try and make some different words than what you made today. Good luck.